Crosscuts are becoming the most used pliers in Australia and for good reason. These pliers are designed excellently for gripping, bending, shaping, stripping, twisting, crimping, cutting and hammering, also known as the Sparky's Hammer. G'day everyone, my name is Corey. I'm a licensed electrician from Melbourne, showing you all my best practices on the tools and how I enjoy what I do while staying productive. If you want sharp pliers with multiple functions aimed at electricians, these are perfect. Now I know it's a bit different for US electricians, but here in Australia, we either use combination pliers or linesman pliers. Behind me, I've got some combination pliers. These NWS pliers are the ones I use throughout my entire apprenticeship, as you can see, they're a bit worn out. I've only recently moved on to the linesman pliers, which are these bad boys over here. So what's the main difference? A lot of people confuse the two, which is fair enough. They're pretty similar. But the main differences are on your combis, you've got a shortened flat surface on the end of the jaw. Whereas on the lineys, you've got a longer flat surface on the jaw. The reason the combination pliers are shorter is to have extra gripping zones. So if you have a look at my NWS, we've got a smaller jagged concave one at the top and then a larger jagged at the bottom and this allows you to grip onto circular material such as metal rods I'll be covering this specific tool in a later electrician 101 video but for now we're going to be talking about the linesman this isn't a video about which is better they both have their uses if you're more comfortable using the combination pliers keep using them if you want to try something different it's definitely worth experimenting with the linesman pliers if you have the money of course and the last difference between the two is that the linesman has more leverage if i open them both up you can see that the linesman can cut wider cable than the combis anyway let's put these away for now and let's focus on the linesman. Another thing people get confused by are the different types of linesman pliers. Linesmen aren't just cross-cutted. You can also get linesmen with the pinch cuts, just like on my combis over there. In this video, I'll be specifically covering the linesman cross-cut pliers, which are these ones and my Marvel ones behind me. I've been using the Marvel cross-cuts for the past three months and they've been great. I only recently bought these because these have insulator handles, which I'll talk about later on in this video. They do take a little bit of getting used to, especially if you've been using pinch cut pliers most of the time during your trade. But if you take the effort to get some scrap cable and just continuously practice over and over, you'll get used to these pliers. I've got another video on how to strip cable really quickly with these specific ones. So link will be in the description if you're interested. In terms of recommended brands in Australia, any linesman crosscut pliers are gonna be good. The Marvels are really popular for a reason because they're extremely sharp. I haven't had a pair of pliers this sharp before. The Weehars are also really good. You can get these from Bunnings, Sydney Tools, Total Tools. Actually, I recommend you get them from Bunnings because they're like $10 cheaper than the other stores. The cheapest that you can get is from Sydney Tools. The brand is called X Talk. They have a pair of linesman crosscut pliers for like around 30 bucks, which in my opinion is a bloody bargain. So next time I'm at Sydney Tools, I'm going to definitely grab a pair of those. Might even do a review on them. Like what I mentioned before, the Marvels are the sharpest pliers you can get. Unfortunately, the insulation is not rated up to 1000 volts. That's why these Weehars are great. They're a little bit more bulkier, but for the peace of mind that these pliers are insulated up to 1000 volts, it might be worth getting these over these. In terms of finding pliers that are insulated, it's pretty obvious. On the packaging, it will say it's rated up to 1000 volts. So when pliers have VDE written on it, it just means it has been certified to be rated up to 1000 volts AC and 1500 volts DC. VDE stands for Verben de Electrotechnic, which is a bit of a mouthful. Like I said, that certifies it up to 1000 volts. There's also an international standard called IEC, which stands for the International Electrotechnical Commission. These things don't really matter. At the end of the day, all they mean is that these hand tools have been tested and certified. Let's go through each component of the linesman pliers. They consist of a stub nose at the top, good for getting into tight spaces if you need to grab a cable out. Below that, you've got the gripping jaw, which the surface is made out of diamond cross hatching, which is good for when you're grabbing copper cable or grabbing any sort of cable. It makes a strong grip. On the outside of these pliers, you've got an angular edge. Next, you've got your cutting edges, your cutters, your cross cuts. This is the thing that's cutting into your cable. And yeah, this is the standout for these pliers like I said earlier they're extremely sharp and that's the main reason you get these linesmen 
and once you've mastered them, you're unstoppable for an electrician. <laughs> Directly below the cutters, you've got your pivot point or your fulcrum, whatever you want to call it. The pivot point on the linesman pliers allows you to get more leverage, like I was saying before. Below your pivot point, you've got the crimper, and this is for when you're crimping lugs onto the end of your conductors. And then last but not least, you have your handles. On the Weehaws, the reason you have these things sticking out is to make it safer and more comfortable. It kind of acts like a guard so that your fingers don't touch the metal part. Anyway, I hope this video was entertaining and insightful. If there are things that I've missed, put them down in the comments and I'll um, love heart them or pin them up to the top of the comment section so others can see. If you have any requests of Sparky tools that you want me to cover in this series, comment them below or any other video ideas, just comment below. And yeah, thank you for watching. You can check out these other videos here if you'd like. I release videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. So yeah, two videos a week. And I plan to make videos continuously for the long run. Anyway, I really appreciate you watching and catch you later.